Hi there. So while I'm waiting for Box Office Mojo to update again, because I thought it was done updating, that's how I was doing my box office video for the week, but uh, apparently it wasn't done updating, so that's a thing. Uh, might as well, now you'll notice there's um, who would wins that aren't up uh, Fridays through today's, and I have just worked out ahead of me. So I'm just going to cram the three I missed out today. We're going to start with Emperor Vladicus's, uh, uh, Vladicus, uh, her suggestion of Azula from Avatar Last Airbender versus Shigo or Shego uh, from, I can't remember, I didn't really watch a lot of Kim Possible, uh, from Kim Possible. Now, I mean, just breaking out, Shigo, she was the one I had to actually look at, because Azula, I pretty much remember everything about Azula. Uh, Shigo is, I think she's like a little older than Kim, she's somewhere in her late teens, early 20s, maybe she, she could be in her 30s, I don't know. And, and her go team glows are built. Basically, I, I wanted to be sure it wasn't like radioactive stuff she was using. No, she's just got like energy based light powers, uh, which can vary in ability to, um, you know, energy, standard energy blast, uh, throwing concentrated beams. Basically, they seem to have the power of like, um, like a round of a grenade or so when they're really like in terms of firepower, which is still pretty impressive. She can also use her go, go, go team glow ability, which is what it's called. To augment her strength, where she can actually bend and rend steel girders and things along those lines. So she's quite powerful in that regard. Also, she's a master hand and combatant. She's extremely intelligent, master at stealth, uh, generally level-headed, but she can be a little um, kind of hot-headed, but she, it's, you can goad her in the right way. Uh, and originally, it, it did drain her stamina to um, use her ability for a long period of time. But now, late, afterwards, later in the series, she's overcome that she's also got enough durability to pretty much survive being thrown out of building land uh, and land make create uh, juice would just come up with being scuffed and bleeding a little bit from the mouth so it's highly durable too uh azula crown princess of the fire nation is the older what actually was she the older sister or were they twins um i think I think she's actually the younger sister of... I can't actually remember. Was she the younger or the older sister? Um, let's see now. Azula. Azu Azula. Uh, let's see now. Azula. Okay. Was she, yeah, was she the older or younger sister? Uh, <clears throat> not that this really matters. Uh, young, okay, she is the younger sister of... Uh, it makes That would make sense, too. She's the younger... Just because of that... Um, superiority she she gave the air off like that superior younger better kid anyway so yeah she's the younger sister of zuko um she is she was pretty much the main antagonist throughout the second throughout once you got into season two she was the main antagonist of uh of avatar the last airbender along with the fire lord um she she's pretty much she is She's a prodigy, but she's also, uh, she has a lack of empathy. She is basically kind of psychotic. Um, and she, she almost never lost her cool at all. She always had a cruel dis disdemeanor, a dis disdemeanor, eh, you, that, you know what word I'm talking about. Uh, incredibly intelligent, apparently calculating, easily manipulative, um, uh, she's a gr very key, very easily um, able to strategize on the fly. However, as the series progressed, we saw the chinks in her armor start to um, unfold a bit, particularly in the latter half of season three, when she was pretty much when she couldn't handle the stress of the situation at all. She became she basically lost. It. She went crazy. Um, so she uh, she's not. Stable. So, if you know, particularly when it came to the issue of her mother, her when it came to the issue of her mother, she became um, uh, in the betrayal of her friends and everything along those lines. Uh, so, and sorry, I'm I'm because I've got the wiki up here right now, and actually her abilities. She, I'm seeing a whole bunch of stuff here right now. It's, it's she clear? Uh, like, she's very mentally unstable. Um, uh, afterwards. But she's, but she's still, which makes her actually even more uh, dangerous. She's completely reckless and completely un uncontrollable. Uh, but we'll we'll use for the what it's worth. We'll use Azula. Um, we'll go Azula mid season three when those changes were in her mental state were become were coming to a head. We're starting to show themselves a bit more. 
Uh, like, we'll use her right after the betrayal of Mai and Tai Lee. Uh, now, in terms of her ability, she is, she's actually a bit of a jack of all trades. She's a prodigy in firebending, to the point where she can, her fire is blue, which is more intense than the red, orange flames, normal, uh, firebenders use. Um, she can use it for varying effects. She's capable of using lightning, again, only doing that whole sh lightning, sh lightning nonetheless. But also, she's pretty skilled in hand-to-hand -hand techniques. Um... Uh, due to uh, her friend, uh, due to my uh, tie, and she does carry some weapons on her, uh, thanks to her, um, thanks to Tai Lee. Um, she, now, what I used to call her a master arm, arm uh, a master arm, arm combat. Mm, she's high level skilled, even says here very high level skilled. Uh, but I wouldn't call her a master. Like someone like Tai Lee, who is a master, uh, would it can beat her. It, it can beat her easily. Um. And any anyone who's like a master of their craft, that those are the only individuals who could really take her on. Like Aang, more or less a master airbender, but he's also the Avatar, which is why he had he had more tools at his disposal. So he can overall in a one on one fight take her on. Zuko, when he came near the end of the series, could fight on even ground with her. Katara could fight on even ground with her. Ty Lee could take her on. Iroh could easily take her on. So it's really individuals who are masters of their craft who can really kind of oppose her. Um, in that regard, let's break this fight down. So what is this? Let's say Shego, or Shigo, Shego, whatever, however the pronunciation is. Let's say she, the, for Dr. Drax, is going to break into the Fire Nation for some reason. Whatever reason you could think of you to break into the Fire Nation, break into the vault. And Azula's there, and she picks up some sort of... Because firebending, I guess you could, you could theoretically sense key to some degree. Or have, like, a sixth sense for energy. Because it is energy. Um... So let's say she says, the, and then, you know, the vault and whatever. It's like, oh, hi. And, it's like, it's, yeah. and then she fires Fire Blast, and Shago fires a go, 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 Glow Team Go, or Go Team Glow, and then fires that, and then fight commences. So, you know, fire bending, it's going to be, a, at a long-range fight, neither of these guys are going to have any sort of edge over the other. I would, that being said, I think that with Shago could probably, con like, do like a pew. I, I would imagine she's capable of that, which give her a bit more of a concentrated blast than, uh, uh, Azula would, so she could maybe circumvent the fire by, you know, Azula just does amazing fire stream. Shigo goes pew, and then the fire just goes and goes right through it because it's more concentrated. And then Hemi hits it with his hand. She goes ah, and then Shigo comes and just clocks her right in the jaw. Azula Howard just fire blasts, and Shigo's now got got to get out of the way for the burns. So now they're doing a bit of a close range with energy and fire and all that. Just boom, 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 boom. And Shago's going to have the edge in that. First off, I think Shago might just be the more skilled fighter, but also she's able to augment her abilities with her powers, whereas Zula can't. Now, that being said, I think Zula probably has the better flexibility, simply because of, if you really see her in Avatar The Last Airbender, like, she does that whole thing where she catches herself on that um, car when her, uh, Zuko, and um, Sokka are fighting. Uh, in the boiling rock, she catches herself like that. That's tank, that, the level of flexibility and strength to do that. That's that's imp impressive. So I don't know if Shega's ever shown anything like that. So I think she is the more flexible of the two. So she'll be able to avoid the majority of his. Probably taking a scuff here and there. She'll pull out maybe like a dagger, courtesy of Mai, and then she and then cu cuts Shega. Shega's like whoa, and then suddenly uh, you know gets kicked boom, back with a bit of a fire blast. Luckily augmenting herself, gets a bit of a burn mark, but nothing serious, then, um, suddenly, um, you know, Azula's got the lightning, and just lightning blast, like, and then, you know, blast, lightning, boom, blast, and, and I would imagine that that would probably, like, her, whatever hand she uses, let's say it's her left hand, it's not, it's not dead or anything, but it's numbed up, like, she can't feel her hand, or, like, she can't use her hand for a little bit, she's like, Ugh! and then, you know, can bring it up in her lightning blast, she gets out of the way, breaks a steel girder with a with a fist and then just throws it real quick just boom and just it was like whoa or well, obviously she wouldn't be able to say whoa but yeah and then you know there's gonna be some taunting back and forth uh and i met and i at some point shago's gonna maybe bring up her mother and well it's not, she's not gonna be like oh, you, she's, like, ah, she's not gonna go crazy on it i would imagine that she, it would and shago's very smart as well she would see kind of the the hint of malice, whether it's like, he's like, you brought that up. It's like, oh, I'm going to, mm, she gets a little, she'll get a little more angry. And then she, 
I would imagine Shego might notice that and be like, she's got some mother issues. And, you know, and now at this point, maybe her hand's starting to come back to it. So she kind of, whoa, back smacks Azula a little bit just to get her out of the way. So it just, <sighs> kind of doing what the Iro did. I think she can, yeah, yeah, we've even seen she can do that. Uh, when uh, Katara tied her up at the end of the uh, book three, she she was kind of just breathing fire a little bit like that, just bah, and just whoa, and she kind of protects herself at the energy. But that kind of that, that amount of fire is gonna hurt a bit. So she's sends her hairs on fire. Just uh, it's like yeah, I'm gonna it's like I'm gonna enjoy this. It's like oh yeah, just like your mother enjoyed leaving you, I bet. <laughs> and then that's gonna maybe strike a nerve. Uh, <laughs> just like and now she's starting to come unravel, kind of like she was doing with Zuko, starting to. Be a little bit more uneven with her fire, lightning blasting and everything, and Shiga's now just toying with her. And at that point, now Shiga's got complete control of the fight. Now she's just like waiting for the right opportunity. She sees it and then just grabs it and just snaps her hands, like ah, and then just boom, gets the uppercut right to her gut, just ha, ah, and then just finally it's like, yeah, it's like I'm gonna blow my load inside of you. What? No homo. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z abridged. I'm not being, I'm not gay bashing. That's a joke for Dragon Ball Z abridged. Boom! Just blast her uppercut right into the wall. Just and then just knocks her straight out. Now the reason I give Shago the win in this fight is simply because when you and now both these characters are are prone to fits of anger, absolutely. But one is more prone to psychosis than the other. One's got a chinks in her armor that that you're more either more easily easily exploited. From what I can tell, anyway. If you if you know more about Shago, obviously, like I admitted, I didn't watch a lot of Kim Possible. So if you know more about Shago than I do and think differently, that's fine. You can put it in the comments. I'm not going to disagree with you. But from what I know, Azula is far more easily to taunt, especially once you get into that later part of her life. Once you get into later season three, she's far easier to go and taunt than say Shago is. Shago is far more calculating in that regard and able to keep her head a bit more level. Because she's never gone completely insane. Uh, and she's a skilled infiltrator, spy, combat, and all that. So she'll be able to notice, when someone, uh, uh, notice a weakness in someone and exploit that weakness. Plus, I think she's just a more skilled fighter. Her glow team glow is not... I will, I will say, it's probably not as strong as Azula's firebending. And definitely not as strong as her lightning bending. But it's diverse enough that she can do a build... Again, like a concentrated beam like that. Um... Also being able to actually augment her physical capabilities. And she's more durable than Azula is. She survived things that Azula can't survive. Because by all accounts, everyone in Avatar Last Airbender is still human. They've still got the limitations of a human, just with a couple abilities. So for that, I'm giving Shigo... Now, is, can Azula win? Absolutely. She can overwhelm with a fire, get a lightning blast in. Absolutely. But I would say that Shago probably is about – it's probably about a 70% win ratio, 7 out of 10 for Shago. But I'd go with 3 out of 10 and for Azula, definitely. But hey, if you think different, put it in the comments below. Let's, let's have a cool chat about it. Absolutely. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. As those who want to review something, put it in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. And if you have ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superhero Magic, what if, anything I do in the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to it at some point. I'll have the other two who would wins up later today when I get back from work. Plus the what if for the this weekend – and box office will hopefully be up before I go to work. So thanks for watching and see you later.